Good morning all, though it probably looks like late afternoon, but it is morning. And it's actually coming up to 8 o'clock in the morning. Yep, I've been awake for about half an hour. Um, I've got a friend picking me up in a little while, about 8.30, and I'm going to help him um, take stuff over. To his, um, he's rented a little industrial unit on the uh, industrial estate in town. So we're going to be moving stuff from his shed, I presume. Sorry about that. From his shed, I presume, to the workshop or the unit. drizzly and it's foggy but thankfully we have a very short distance um, to go from his to the unit anyway so very short distance actually so a bit of rain won't bloody hurt Turn the toaster on at the wall, that would help. See, I've noticed in America their outlets don't have a switch on the wall. I'm not actually sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, with ours, if anything goes wrong with it, and it doesn't trip or blow the fuse, you can just, you know, flick the switch on the outlet and cut power that way. Although, I suppose, with circuit breakers, in theory, you shouldn't need these switches, should you? Because if anything does go wrong, you know, it should trip, in theory. I've been having great fun with this thing. I've actually got the screen working. <laughs> this is my little Acer Aspire E13, the one that I thought needed a new screen. But it was just as simple as plugging the screen cable back in. Yeah, but instead of me just leaving things working, I decided to try and upgrade to Windows 10 and blah blah blah. And now I can't get the bloody thing to boot. <laughs> Note to self if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <clears throat> anyway, I woke up to a post from a friend this morning basically saying how he finds it funny that, uh, we in Britain, he's British as well. Forgot me plate. I knew I went in here for something. Uh, are petitioning to ban Donald Trump from the UK. And uh, I have to say, I find that amusing as well. <laughs> I've not signed it. And I won't sign it. Because... I'm not one for all this sort of tit for tat, if you like. You know. Dipstick bans people from the US. Seven different countries. <laughs> so we ban him. Um, I just find that rather childish, I'm afraid. As much as it sort of uh, pains me to say this, because I don't like Donald Trump and I don't want to stick up for him or anything, but I do understand what he was trying to do, you know, protect US citizens, but he hasn't really thought the policies through, has he? He's just become president and just jumped straight in at the deep end, if you like. You know, um, screw... <laughs> screw any... Well, not thought of the, um... The little things, if you like. I ain't got nothing to bloody seat on, have I? 
while I make up my dust. A bit like Tories over here really, you know. They've always jumped in with new policies for various things and in my opinion they just never thought it through properly. You know, in the possible... And the possible um, consequences of things and whatnot that might arise. I just thought of something and implemented it. And then ended up causing a load of shit because of it, like this bedroom tax. Which, funny enough, hasn't been mentioned for a long while in the news. Anyway, that's just my two cents on that. I don't think Donald Trump was the best choice personally, but not my country, not my choice. And, uh, I'm not going to hold it against anyone who has voted him, you know. We're all open to our own choices. Yep, sour cream on toast, isn't that lovely? Lovely jobbler. Oof. Watery salad cream on toast, I'm not sure why that's... Uh, but it's not one plain toast and I can't really put jams or anything on it. I've got some um, no sugar jam or sugar free jam in the fridge but uh, it's got this uh, <laughs> effect that if you eat to or eat it in a large quantity it can give you a lactose effect. That ain't good for someone <laughs> with a lactose intolerance. <laughs> So uh, I do stay away from that jam now. Oh yeah, I was just wondering why I had two bottles of oat and cola in the fridge. But I just realised that's right. One of them was warm in here so I stuck it in the fridge and opened up the cold one. As I do. This battery's on charge, it's close to shorting out, I better move that. That, I found out, is a 6 volt battery, not a 12 volt, and I charged that up with a on the 12 volt set. Whoops. So I didn't know what it was, you know. It's got this scale on it. And basically, when it gets pretty much fully charged, the last LED will light. Well, <laughs> one minute I looked and this LED was on. That's just your power indicator, that is. And then the next time I look, about half an hour later, the whole bloody lot was lit, and that was actually rather hot, and it had gotten up to 6 point something volts. I've left my meter on. Shall we have a quick look? My toaster's getting cold. <laughs> Put these on round the wrong way, so whatever it reads is going to be minus. Oh, it's not holding charge that well. It's gone down to half the voltage. And it was last night. Maybe there is a bit of a dud battery. It took a charge, but it's not holding the charge. Anyway, I'm going to get something to eat. My friend should be around about 8.30. I need to eat and poop and whatnot and get my boots on. Oh, I hope we're not going to be doing this all day. Shouldn't be. He can drive now. So he's probably... Um, Gonna collywog the missus's car. Right, anyway, I will talk to you later today. Good evening, all. I am absolutely knackered and uh, I'm a little bit scared. I accidentally left this on while I've been out all day on charge, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the sides have bloated a lot. Um, and this was extremely hot when I took the leads off, but uh, uh, yeah, I think I may actually chuck that one out. I think I may have damaged it. Yeah, even the roof is all, the roof, the top is all uh, 
bumpy. It's taken a charge, it's fully charged, but yeah, um, <laughs> that is making me a little bit nervous. I, I was just, you know, my friend turned up because I was helping him today move everything from his shed to his workshop. And, uh, I'll put you there, I think. So I just sort of went out the door in a bit too much of a hurry and completely forgot that was on the charge. But, uh, anyway. I've got everything moved into his workshop. I've got a few bits and bobs. I've got this. Handy, um, crimp connectors. Yeah, I've, it's been raining for... Well, it rained most of the afternoon, so, uh... It's got a little bit wet. So, I'll try and get the plastic tray out of here. I hope. Bollocks to it, I'll do that later. But, in this bag, I've got something else. That he gave me. Look at that. An original Game Boy. It's missing, um... That's come unstuck, but that's not a problem. That needs a clean anyway. Can't seem to find the battery cover unless it's in this one. Mm, got no idea what that is, but that's with it. That's with it. That's with it. Got three games with it. What have we got? We've got Kirby's Dreamland, Othello, Cubert, and whatever the heck this thing is. I have no idea if this thing actually works or what. It's a game genie. Oh, we've got four games. I've just found another one. There's one in the machine. Super James Pond. This is actually a bit too damp to actually turn on, so I'm going to let this dry out. Let it dry out, and I'll dab. So I've got some glue. I'll dab some glue around that and uh, get that glued back on. Buttons feel okay. Oops. Well, I suppose I don't need a battery pack to try it because I've got the adapter. Oh, I see what you do with the game, Genie. this a little book of codes or something yeah it is holy crap <laughs> it's even got a little code book with it that means drying out as well yeah. let all that dry I think I don't think this will be one that I'll get rid of. I think this will be a, a keeper. Six of volt output. Oh, I'm not going to put that yep. in there again. Let's leave this on the side. That can all dry. Mm. Oh, even you 
YouTube is busy with notifications tonight. Yep. Shut up, you stupid thing. Probably be seeing you know I'm in the spotlight, being questioned. Anyway, one thing I did want to talk about, because I actually just find it amusing. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else around yep. the world is aware, but at least here in Britain, us Brits are. Um, protesting against Trump visiting the United Kingdom. There's even a petition that's been signed by, at last count it was just over 2 million people, petitioning to um, ban him from the UK. I've got two problems with that. Well, one problem and one... point I'd like to make as well. And my mind has just gone blank. <laughs> uh, I do hate it when it does that. Um, for starters, there's much more better things to protest against and petition in this country, I mean, for starters, we actually have um, hate preachers living in this country. Um, Chowdhury, what's his name, is still living in this country and still allowed to preach hate freely and whatnot. But no one's protesting or signing petitions to get him deported from the country. Secondly, I find it funny that us, as in Britain, are protesting against Trump's travel ban and petitioning to get him banned from the country, even though a large number of people in this country wanted immigration controlled um, to stop, you know, like all these Polish and Romanians and whatnot and refugees and immigrants and things coming across the Channel Tunnel and whatnot. You know, nobody wanted, every, nearly everybody I spoke to, you know, wanted immigration control. And here we are, a matter of months later, when Trump actually does something to control immigration. I don't like sticking up for him because I don't like him, but I just don't, I just see it as hypocritical that Britain is protesting something that we wanted in our own country and our government won't do. <laughs> I really don't, I, I, I'm just lost for words at that, why people would just suddenly go, oh, they're only protesting because they don't like Trump. That is simply it. I think that's the only reason. Yep. They don't like Donald Trump. Nor do I, as I said, but... I also find it a bit childish, you know. That, uh... You're banning people from travelling to your country. We're going to ban you from ours. I just find that childish. I'm sorry, I do. <sighs> I could really give a rat's ass to be honest. We've got our own problems in this country to worry about. I actually have um, people on my Facebook who voted for Trump. I personally wouldn't have. If I was American, I'd have voted Hillary. She would have got my vote, but... 
you know. I don't, I don't want the Tories in power, but apparently a majority of Brits did so. That's what we've got. <laughs> you know, a vote is a vote. And if we presume that the elections were not rigged, then a fair vote is a fair vote. That's what we voted, that's what we got. But uh, just because I didn't get the Prime Minister I wanted, or the party in control that I wanted. I'm not out there bloody protesting and rioting and smashing up people's property and whatnot. I'm throwing a complete temper tantrum just because I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't know why... It's, it only seems to happen in America. But on the other hand, at least Americans have got the balls to... Uh, actually go do something when they don't like something rather than <laughs> do what us Brits and whatnot tend to do and just sit here whinging at home. I will give you Americans credit there. You do actually uh, go out and protest and, you know, get your views put across. If people won't listen, you make them listen sort of thing. In Britain, we just seem to sit at home, whinge, and get on with our lives. <laughs> I'm not actually sure which method is actually better, to be honest. Yep. Oh, well. It's actually rare that I'll get political on my channel. do this evening is go downstairs, go and get my stepdad's bike indoors, because it's out back. I might take that battery down and leave it outside somewhere, because I do not trust it up here. Although it is cooling, it's taken a long while, but it is cooling down, so I don't think it's at risk of going bang. But the shame is, I actually wanted that battery, because I've got a project coming up for a friend of mine. She wanted a trike. A motorised trike, you know, with an electric motor. And I swapped one of those little electric scooters with her for an Alienware laptop. And we took that apart, so I've got all the motor sprocket and electrics from that electric scooter that she wanted me to try and uh, you know find a way to fit it to a trike and initially I was going to build a trike out of an ordinary push bike bicycle which can be done it's not the easiest of tasks but it can be done but I've actually got something a bit better out back when I can remember where I put it oh yeah that's it she doesn't know I've got it yet. She will do before this video goes out. So, uh, I've actually gone and got hold of my friend's old trike that he was using to um, tow his bike trailers with. Which yep. I'm guessing now that he's got a driving licence will be a thing of the past now. Because he's planning to get his, uh, himself a little van. So, uh, I could actually have a much larger bike trailer if I wanted, but I've just got nowhere here to put it. I really haven't got anywhere to put it. I could probably yep. hide it round the back here, right up this corner, if I can get rid of the four bikes I've got up there at the moment. I just wish two of them would sell out of my way. I don't really want to break the ladies' ones one for parts, because I don't need parts. I don't need bloody wheels or anything. I've got wheels coming out my backside at the minute. And 
And um, to be honest, all this clutter I've built up is actually really doing my head in. But it's either continue to list 10 items a month on eBay or just bin the whole lot and then I won't have any bloody way of making a bit of spare cash for Lego and ponies. So, I've got to put up with it, I suppose. Thought I'd clicked on that to go to that. Or did I? Did I? Oh, that's what it did. Sorry, that comment on there distracted me. I'll reply to that in a minute. Not nastily, but uh, I will reply to <laughs> Oh dear. Right. I'm going to shut the video down, I think, and uh, get this put together. I want to go and get that bike upstairs, like I said. Take that battery down and hide it somewhere. Somewhere where it hopefully won't go bang. Not only have I got to go around town tomorrow, I really should get some bikes sorted that I want to scrap. Uh, there's at least two that I'm going to break for parts. Uh, yeah, that give me a bit of room. I've got a bike to fix for someone. Yep. Out back as well. Uh, pardon me, it needs a chain, it needs most of the cables as well. well I don't even know if I've got a chain, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure I can fabricate some sort of chain for it. I think a lot of it, I don't even know what happened to it. It's got at least no rear gear cable. No rear brake cable connected. All the outers are there and wrapped around the frame. One of the brake cables are there and wrapped around the frame as well. It's actually going through the frame, which isn't a bad thing. So that means I can pull a new bit of out through yep. if I have to. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to get that done. I'm going to take a bath because I need a soak, I think. And to chill. Hmm. Cause I've got a busy day tomorrow. Cause uh, I think if I can actually clear what's up that corner, it's four bikes. There's one that I'm going to put on eBay as a project, my old Triumph. Two that I want to sell, and that one that I've got fixed for someone. Must have been, I'll get offers this weekend on both bikes and it'll be silly offers. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I do apologise for the sort of little ranty bit in the middle there, but uh, as a YouTuber I watch says, it is what it is. <laughs> um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. It's entirely up to you and I will talk to you again. Probably tomorrow, because hopefully I'll have some goodies. Some Lego. There is actually a pony I want to go and buy in a shop as yep. well. And I've got to pick that parcel up, which is a cuddly pony, by the way. So I've got that to do as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!